Good day. The Sales Orders module helps organize and control the selling process. In our training videos on this module, we will be going through the selling cycle in MOB Advanced, covering all the steps except for the receivables payment, which is covered as part of the Accounts Receivable videos in the Finance Suite. In this video, we'll look at the process from creating a quote through to invoicing the customer for the goods sold. MOB Advanced is highly configurable and not all functions are available in all MOB Advanced Business Editions. For example, customer order types which are only available in the Enterprise Edition. Let's look at the sales cycle now and how we manage sales and sales orders in MOB Advanced. It might be helpful to take a moment to consider who would be entering or processing the documents in your company for each step. When we sell goods or services to our customers, a quote is usually raised by our salesperson. Once a quote has been accepted by our customer, a sales order is processed. We then pick the goods and ship them depending on the customer's instruction. For this step, a shipment is created and confirmed. Next, an invoice is prepared and released. The customer may receive the invoice with the goods or we may send the invoice to the customer at a later stage. The customer then pays the invoice based on the terms we have agreed. In MOB Advanced, we enter quotes on the sales order form. The transaction's behavior on this form is controlled by the order type. In our sales order videos, we will cover the following order types. Quote, sales order, credit memo, return for credit, and invoice order. So do join us for our other videos on sales orders. Let's say our customer, Industrial Supply, would like a quote for two wireless solar keyboards. From the Sales Order module, under the Transaction section, let's navigate to Sales Orders. And click on the plus icon to add a new sales order. Now, the first important thing on this form, like discussed, is the order type. So from the drop-down list here, we'll select Quote. Next, we'll record the details of the customer for which the quote is created. Industrial supply in our case. We can enter a customer order number and complete a description. Now, there's a few methods we could use to add line items for this quote. One is to hit the plus sign down here. Another is to import from an Excel sheet. But for this exercise, we're going to click on the option to add a stock item. The inventory lookup screen will open. And of course, from here, we can filter our search by entering our required items. We can select the required item on the left. And once we add the item, you'll notice the stock item details displaying at the bottom of the screen. Now we can go ahead and close the screen and you'll see that the item has been added to our document details tab. For this order, we will adjust the quantity to do on the line item and you'll notice that the quote totals adjusted accordingly. Now we can save our quote. Once the quote is approved by our customer, we can process a sales order. For this, we'll click on the Actions drop-down of our quote order type and select Copy Order. The order type on the dialog box here should be SO for Sales Order, so we can simply click on OK. The Sales Order will now be displayed with the details as entered in our quote. The Shipping Settings tab of this form contains shipping information, including the customer's ship to address. Also, we can specify the FOB point the shipping terms and zone to be used for the order. If integration between MOB Advanced and the carrier is configured, we can update the carrier rates for the scheduled shipment by clicking the Packages button. The Shop for Rates dialog box will open and from here we could select the carrier we're shipping this order out with. Once we are happy, we can save the sales order and from this screen, the sales order can be emailed directly to the customer from the Actions drop-down, Email Sales Order Quote. The 
goods will be shipped to the client once the sales order is converted to a shipment. To do this, we'll select from the Actions drop-down, Create Shipment. A dialog box will appear for us to specify shipment parameters. We'll accept the defaults displayed and click OK. Once we click OK, you'll notice that we'll go from sales orders to shipments and you'll see up here that we are now on the shipments form. Let's consider the packages tab here for a moment. You'll notice that the system has determined for us the weight and size of the shipment. This is because in the inventory record, we've defined the details of the box these need to ship out in. If it all looks good, we can confirm the shipment and from the Actions drop-down, select Confirm Shipment. Once the shipment has been confirmed and if integration between MOB Advanced and the carrier is configured, the tracking number will now populate in this field here. If we are happy, we can prepare the invoice now by selecting Prepare Invoice from the Actions drop-down. We will now be taken to the Invoices form. From this form in the Actions drop-down, we can select to email this invoice directly to our customer. You'll notice now that under Activities, there's a one year in parentheses. If we open this, we'll see the email. And if we double click here, we'll see the content of the email. At the top of the screen, under Files, we'll see there's one attachment. And if we click on this PDF file, we'll see the actual invoice that was emailed to our customer. Now we can release the invoice to post the transactions to the general ledger. So let's click on Actions and select Release. From the Financial Details tab of our invoice, we can click on the batch number to drill down and view the journal transactions for our entry. If we would like to view the details of our cost of goods sold for this transaction, we can simply click on the module drop-down Select the inventory module and go to the last transaction. And here we'll find the journal transactions for our COGS. And with this, we've came to the end of our overview on how to go from a quote to an invoice in the MOB Advanced System. In our next video, we'll look at further functionality of the Sales Orders module. Please let us know with your feedback and join us again for more as we explore MOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.